John Hunyadi was a leading Hungarian military and political figure in Central and Southeastern Europe during the 15th century. According to most contemporary sources, he was the son of a noble family of Romanian ancestry. He mastered his military skills on the southern borderlands of the Kingdom of Hungary that were exposed to Ottoman attacks. Appointed voivode of Transylvania and head of a number of southern counties, he assumed responsibility for the defense of the frontiers in 1441. Hunyadi adopted the Hussite method of using wagons for military purposes. He employed professional soldiers, but also mobilized local peasantry against invaders. These innovations contributed to his earliest successes against the Ottoman troops who were plundering the southern marches in the early 1440s. Although defeated in the Battle of Varna in 1444 and in the Second Battle of Kosovo in 1448, his successful, long campaign across the Balkan Mountains in 1443-44 and defense of Belgrade, Nandor Ferevar in 1456, against troops led personally by the Sultan established his reputation as a great general. The bells of Catholic and Oldo Protestant churches are daily rung at noon to commemorate the Belgrade victory. Although the Pope had ordered this in advance, a week before the siege, in order to encourage the soldiers fighting for Christendom, John Hunyadi was also an eminent statesman. He actively took part in the civil war between the partisans of Ladislaus I and the minor Ladislaus V. Two claimants to the throne of Hungary in the early 1440s, on behalf of the former, popular among the lesser nobility, the Diet of Hungary appointed him, in 1445, as one of the seven captains-in-chief responsible for the administration of state affairs until Ladislaus V came of age. The next Diet went even further, electing Hunyadi as sole regent with the title of governor. When he resigned from this office in 1452, the sovereign awarded him with the first hereditary title in the Kingdom of Hungary. He had by this time become one of the wealthiest landowners in the kingdom, and preserved his influence in the Diet up until his death. This athletic Christi, as Pope Pius II referred to him, died some three weeks after his triumph at Nandor Fair Evar, Belgrade, falling to an epidemic that had broken out in the Crusader camp. However, his victories over the Turks prevented them from invading the Kingdom of Hungary for more than 60 years. His fame was a decisive factor in the election of his son, Matthias Corvinus, as king by the Diet of 1457. Hunyadi is still a popular historic figure among Hungarians, Romanians, Serbians, Bulgarians and other nations of the region. Many quantify of them even considering him as their own hero. Childhood a royal charter of grant issued on 18 October 1409 contains the first reference to John Hunyadi. In the document, King Sigismund of Hungary bestowed Hunyad Castle and the lands attached to it upon John's father, Voyk and Voik's four kinsmen, including John himself. According to the document, John's father served in the royal household as a court knight at that time, suggesting that he was descended from a respected family. Two 15th century chroniclers, Johanna Stathoroch and Antonio Bonfini, write that Voyk had moved from Wallachia to Hungary upon King Sigismund's initiative. Laszlo Mackay, Malcolm Hebron, Pal Engel, and other scholars accept the two chroniclers' report of the Wallachian origin of John Hunyadi's father. In contrast with them, Joan Oral Pop says that Voyk was a native of the wider region of Hunyard Castle. Antonio Bonfini was the first chronicler to have made a passing remark of an alternative story of John Hunyadi's parentage, soon stating that it was just a tasteless tale fabricated by Hunyadi's opponent, Ulrich II, Count of Selge. According to this anecdote, John was actually not Voigt's child, but King Sigismund's illegitimate son. 
The story became especially popular during the reign of John Hunyadi's son, Matthias Corvinus, who erected a statue for King Sigismund in Buda. The 16th-century chronicler Gaspar Helte repeated and further developed the tale, but modern scholars, for instance, Cartledge and Cubania, regard it as an unverifiable gossip. Hunyadi's popularity among the peoples of the Balkan Peninsula give rise to further legends of his royal parentage. The identification of John Hunyadi's mother is even less certain. In connection with King Sigismund's supposed parentage, both Bonfini and Helte say that she was the daughter of a rich boyar, or nobleman, whose estates were located at Mortzina. The two chroniclers do not name her, but Pop writes that she was called Elizabeth. According to historian Laszlo Mackay, John Hunyadi's mother was a member of the Musena Kenes family from Demsis, but Pop refuses the identification of the Mortzina and Musena families. With regard to John Hunyadi's mother, Bonfini provides an alternative solution as well, stating that she was a distinguished Greek lady but does not name her. According to Cubania, her alleged Greek origin may simply refer to her Orthodox faith. In a letter of 1489, Matthias Corvinus wrote that his grandmother's sister, whom the Ottoman Turks had captured and forced to join the harem of an unnamed sultan, became the ancestor of Sem, the rebellious son of Sultan Mehmed II. Based on this letter, historian Cubania says that the Greek connection cannot be discounted entirely. If Matthias Corvinus a report is valid, John Hunyadi, the hero of anti-Ottoman wars, and the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II were first cousins. On the other hand, historian Peter E. Kovacs writes that Matthias Corvinus's story about his family connection with the Ottoman sultans was nothing but a pack of lies. Hunyadi's year of birth is uncertain. Although Gaspar Helte writes that Hunyadi was born in 1390, he must have actually been born between around 1405 and 1407 because his younger brother was only born after 1409, and a difference of almost two decades between the two brothers' age is not plausible. The place of his birth is likewise unknown. The 16th-century scholar, Anton Branchet wrote that John Hunyadi had been a native of the Hatzjet region. Hunyadi's father died before 12 February 1419. A royal charter issued on this day mentions Hunyadi, Hunyadi's two brothers and their uncle Radol, but does not refer to their father. Rise of a general, youth Andreas Pannonius, who served Hunyadi for five years, writes that the future commander accustomed himself to tolerate both cold and heat in good time. Just like other young noblemen, John Hunyadi spent his youth serving in the court of powerful magnates. However, the exact list of his employers cannot be completed, because 15th-century authors recorded contradictory data of his early life. Filippo Scalari's biographer, Poggio Bracciolini writes that Scalari, who was responsible for the defense of the southern frontier as Ispan, or head of Teams County, educated Hunyadi from his very youth, suggesting that Hunyadi was Scalari's page around 1420. On the other hand, John of Capistrano writes, in a letter of 1456, that Hunyadi started his military career serving under Nicholas Alaki. For Nicholas Alaki was at least six years younger than Hunyadi. Historian Palengel writes that Capistrano confused him with his brother. Stephen Ulaki. Finally, Antonio Bonfini says that at the beginning of his career Hunyadi worked either for Demeter C.S.U. Poor, Bishop of Zagreb or for the C.S.A.K.Ys. According to the Byzantine historian Launa Kostchorka Kundila, the young Hunyadi stayed for a time at the court of Stefan Lazarevich, despot of Serbia who died in 1427. Hunyadi's marriage with Elizabeth Silagi substantiates Chorko Kandila report, because her father, Ladislaus, was the despot's familiar eyes around 1426. The wedding took place around 1429. While still a young man, Hunyadi entered the retinue of King Sigismund. 
He accompanied Sigismund to Italy in 1431 and upon Sigismund's order he joined the army of Filippo Maria Visconti, Duke of Milan. Bonfini says that Hunyadi served two years in the Duke's army. Modern scholars, for instance, Cartledge, Engel, Murasanu and Tekka, say that Hunyadi familiarized himself with the principles of contemporary military art, including the employment of mercenaries. In Milan, Hunyadi again joined the entourage of Sigismund, who had in the meantime been crowned Holy Roman Emperor in Rome, at the very end of 1433. He served the monarch as a court knight. He loaned 1,200 gold florins to the emperor in January 1434. In exchange, Sigismund mortgaged Papi, a market town in Csanad County, and half of the royal incomes from a nearby ferry on the Maros River to Hunyadi and his younger brother. The royal charter of the transaction mentions Hunyadi as John the Vlach. In short, Sigismund granted Hunyadi further domains, including Bekesas and Tundris, and Hodmezo Vasaheli, each incorporating about ten villages. Antonio Bonfini writes of Hunyadi's service in the retinue of one Francis C.S.A. Nardi, who became so fond of him that treated him as if he were his own son. Historian Engel identifies Francis C.S.A. Nardi with Franco of Talavach, Ban of Severin who was also a span of C.S.A.N.A.D. County around 1432. Engel says that Hunyadi served in the band's retinue for at least one and a half years from around October 1434. Ivlach district of the Banat of Severin was mortgaged to Hunyadi in this period. Sigismund, who entered Prague in the summer of 1436, hired Hunyadi and his 50 lances for three months in October 1437 for 1,250 gold florins implying that Hunyadi had accompanied him to Bohemia. Hunyadi seems to have studied the Hussites' tactics on this occasion, because he later applied its featuring elements, including the use of wagons as a mobile fortress. On 9 December 1437 Sigismund died, his son-in-law, Albert was elected King of Hungary in nine days. According to historians Tekka and Engel, Hunyadi soon returned to the southern frontiers of the kingdom which had been subject to Ottoman raids. In contrast with them, Murasanu says that Hunyadi served King Albert in Bohemia for at least a year, till the end of 1438. First battles with the Ottomans The Ottomans had occupied the larger part of Serbia by the end of 1438. In the same year, Ottoman troops, supported by Vlad II Dracul, Prince of Wallachia, made an incursion into Transylvania, plundering Hermannstadt, Gaya Lafayeva and other towns. After the Ottomans laid siege to Smederevo, the last important Serbian stronghold in June 1439, Turad Brankovic, despot of Serbia fled to Hungary to seek military assistance. King Albert proclaimed the general insurrection of the nobility against the Ottomans, but few armed noblemen assembled in the region of Titel and they refrained themselves from the fight. A notable exception was Hunyadi. He made raids against the besiegers and defeated them in smaller skirmishes, which contributed to the rise of his fame. The Ottomans captured Smederevo in August. King Albert appointed the Hunyadi brothers bands of Severin, elevating them to the rank of true barons of the realm. He also mortgaged the Vlach district in Thames County to them. King Albert died of dysentery on 27 October 1439. His widow, Elizabeth, Emperor Sigismund's daughter, gave birth to a posthumous son, Ladislaus. The estates of the realm offered the crown to Vladislaus, King of Poland, but she had his infant son crowned king on 15 May 1440. However, Vladislaus accepted the estate's offer and was also crowned king on 17 July. During the ensuing civil war between the two kings' partisans, Hunyadi supported Vladislaus. Hunyadi fought against the Ottomans in Wallachia, for which King Vladislaus granted him five domains in the vicinity of his family estates on 9 August 1440. 
Hung Yadi, together with Nikolaus Alaki, annihilated the troops of Vladislaus' opponents at Batashek at the very beginning of 1441. Their victory effectively put an end to the civil war. The grateful king appointed Hunyadi and his comrade joint voivodes of Transylvania and counts of the Seklis in February. In short, the king also nominated the Mispans of Teams County and conferred the command of Nandorf, Evar and all other castles along the Danube on them. For Nicholas Alaki spent most time in the royal court. In practice Hunyadi administered Transylvania and the southern borderlands alone. Soon after his appointment, Hunyadi visited Transylvania where the child Ladislaus V's partisans had preserved a strong position. After Hunyadi pacified Transylvania, the regions under his administration remained undisturbed by internal conflicts enabling Hunyadi to concentrate on the defense of the borders, by effectively defending the interests of local landowners at the royal court. Hunyadi strengthened his position in the provinces under his administration. For instance, he obtained land grants and privileges for local noblemen from the king. Hunyadi set about repairing the walls of Nandorf Evar, which had been damaged during an Ottoman attack. In retaliation of Ottoman raids in the region of the River Sava, he made an incursion in Ottoman territory in the summer or autumn of 1441. He scored a pitched battle victory over Ishak Bey, the commander of Smederovo. Early next year Bey Mezid invaded Transylvania with a force of 17,000 soldiers. Hunyadi was taken by surprise and lost the first battle near Marossa's Entemra. Bey Mezid lay siege to Hermannstadt, but the united forces of Hunyadi and Ulaki, who had in the meantime arrived in Transylvania, forced the Ottomans to lift the siege. The Ottoman forces were annihilated at Gayan Lafayevar on the 22nd of March. Pope Eugenius IV, who had been an enthusiastic propagator of a new crusade against the Ottomans, sent his legate, Cardinal Giuliano Cesarini, to Hungary. The cardinal arrived in May 1442 tasked with mediating a peace treaty between King Vladislaus and Derja Queen Elizabeth. The Ottoman Sultan, Murad II dispatched Siabed and Pasha, the governor of Rumelia, to invade Transylvania with a force of 70,000. The Pasha stated that the mere sight of his turban would force his enemies to run far away. Although Hunyadi could only muster a force of 15,000 men, he inflicted a crushing defeat on the Ottomans at the Yalomita River in September. Hunyadi placed Basarab II on the princely throne of Wallachia, but Basarab's opponent Vlad Drakul returned and forced Basarab to flee in early 1443. Hunyadi's victories in 1441 and 1442 made him a prominent enemy of the Ottomans and renowned throughout Christendom. He established a vigorous offensive posture in his battles, which enabled him to counteract the numerical superiority of the Ottomans through decisive maneuver. He employed mercenaries, increasing the professionalism in his ranks and supplementing the numerous irregulars mustered from local peasantry, whom he had no reservations about employing in the field.